Okay. I'm a backpack fiend. I love backpacks. I just sold every backpack I had because there was just something I did not like about them. And I'm searching for that perfect backpack for mostly saddle hunting, but just a great everyday pack. And I think I found it. I was at the Great American Outdoor Show. XRP was having a sale on a website, 20% off. And I got this pack for $55. And what I plan this I have some tree stands. I don't strictly saddle hunt. And I like I go scouting and I wanted a decent backpack for scouting and stuff like that. Bring my trail cameras, something to put them in, stuff I need to hang them, and I think I might have found it. This is the XRP striker pack. Again, $55. This is just mainly for uh, a whitetail pack. And it has straps up here up front. So if you want to bring a platform or because I have setups where I have just steps. And I bring my platform, so and I hunt out of that. But I just want to show you some of the pockets. What I love about it, it has a lot of exterior webbing. And my my idea of a good backpack is having most of the gear that you need quick access to on the outside of the pack, not on the inside. So let's just go over it. It has a couple of small things in here. Good for a rangefinder, extra release, whatever you want, some gear. It has a nice pocket right here. You can see but Molly on it opens up nice. Let me get this if I'm trying to do it from one hand. What I like about it, it has two zippers on each side and it has a nice little storage area. So that's real nice. A nice feature again, water bottle holder. But this is you can put scents in here. I don't know if I would do that because I think it would still so but it's lined, so you can clean it and you know wash out if it didn't expose in there, so you don't have to worry. So that's pretty nice. What I really liked about this was the exterior mollies. Again, we have a duplicate pocket here. This one isn't lined, but plenty of, plenty of room for gear. Uh, it's hydration compatible. Let's go like that. Let's, let's go over this. Mole attachment system, internal hydration ports, easy clean up lining, padded shoulder straps. That's one thing about this. It's very, very comfortable. And I just love having access to be able to put some stuff on the outside of the pack, extra gear. But this pocket right here is what I like. See how it opens? So it's easy access. It has nice pockets right here. So it has a nice little thing right here. I think this is for your hydration port. Or, i got to figure it out. There's a nice little pocket. See how padded this is? There's a nice little pocket right here. So... Really, really liking this. Fifty-five dollars, XRP product. You know it's quality. So, again, this is going to be mostly for if I have a tree stand where I'm not bringing really any type of platforms or steps. Scouting. This is great, great. Man. I love straps on the bottom too to put gear, especially clothing. Uh, and when I hang out my uh, cell cameras, there's a point of year. I usually it's around. July or August, if I'm done scouting, I'll put my cameras out. And this is a great bag to do it. So, check it out. This is the Striker Evolution. XRP makes some really nice gear. And uh, I'm really glad. I mean, if this was a $150 pack, would if I bought it? I don't think so. But when I see the price, $55, there was well, somebody had one at the, the show. I was like, 20% off, $55, it was free shipping, so I was like, yeah, this this might do the fifth bill right here. So there it is, scouting, quick hunts, uh, let me get it on, we'll put some gear in it and tell you what I think about it. Really, really liking this pack, for the price, hell yeah. <clears throat> Alright, out doing some scouting, mostly shed hunting. Got the XOP pack. Like this pack. It's the perfect scouting pack, little day pack. Really comfortable. Got all I need in here basics. A little first aid, some water, got my coffee. <laughs> and uh, you can see right now, it's been a very mild winter here, but uh, getting a little snow. It's nice and cold. I said, let's go for a hike. Got my dog. And uh, see if we can find some sheds. So there's some big bucks in here. 
But uh, <coughs> this is a non-hunting area. This is just a, tr a trail. But I just like walking on it because you do find some nice sheds in here. So uh, that's it. So bullets and broadheads checking. Mostly doing a review on the striker pack. See how comfortable it is. I'm actually going out to my hunting area tomorrow and uh, gonna pull some uh, steps down. Gonna pull some cameras down. Can't leave them up in public land in a certain area. Gotta take everything down. So I'm gonna go out tomorrow, bring this pack, and uh, that's it. Bullets and broadheads. Enjoy your mother nature. Okay, Richie, Bullets and Broadhead Duncan. Still drinking it every day, sometimes twice a day. Got a 24 hour one on my way to hunting. Always in there, get my Duncan. But anyway, I just did a review on my, my setup for this year. And guess what? It changed. <laughs> well, it hasn't really changed because I had this pack, uh, as you can see in the video, for quite a while. I bought it off at a fantastic price, used it for scouting, hanging trail camera. I used it all summer long. I had this for I don't know how many months now. But I was like, I don't know if this would be good for hunting with my platform and my sticks. And you know, because I wasn't sure of the comfort of it. I did it a couple times and it works good. What I like about this, you can attach a lot of stuff very easily to this pack. And my thought process was, I went hunting, opening day, it was hot. I had this backpack you've seen in the video, my mobile hunting uh, set up. And it was just too much gear. I was like, why am I taking, when I opened the pack, I took like two things out and that's what I used. I was like, why am I doing this to myself? So this is a very light pack and it has a lot of compartments and more than enough for what I need. And right now I'm gonna go with this. I mean, there's a lot of backpacks coming out that I'm very interested in, but I just have a problem spending two, three hundred dollars on a backpack. Backpack, I really do. But here it is, the XOP Striker. You can see how I get it has a nice attachment here for every. See, you can have my vest on here it has been actually cool in the mornings but I want to show you how I have it set up and this striker pack for hunting it's I tell you I was very surprised it, it, I think I paid that check out the beginning of the video it was just a while like 50 bucks for this thing and it has multiple attachments well here's my platform and everything and what I do I have these I did a video on this a while ago on these vol straps and they're really good. You can see this is just a solid, solid way to attach your sticks to this if you want. I can attach them to the, just the bag too if I want, but I, this is a whole system I can take off. I can just whip this off, drop it on the ground. It's very visible, this color, so I'm not going to lose it. And that's it. So that's how that goes. Let me just show you the attachment methods here because What's really good is, what I love on every pack for me is a must, the straps on the bottom. Now, I could put my sticks here, which I, I've tried and it works good, and put my jacket on here because this part right here, this little flap, has multiple connections here. And that's what's great for the platform. It works really good. And I was looking at the other back and I had this all along. I was like, what? why am I not using this? I put another extra one here. You can see this one I think was from Eastern Woods out. I forgot why I bought these straps too. This is a while ago. And just there's so many mole attachments to this. I just clip it on. I could put my jacket on here. I could put the sticks on here. There's just numerous ways you can do this. And what I like about this, now it has no hip belt, which doesn't really bother me that much because I'm trying to go lighter. What I like about it is just the way this pocket just flips open and I mean it's just a good pack for $50 it's doing everything I want so I sold my other pack that you've seen in that video to somebody who asked me about it a video of what I did on it Fred I hope you like the pack it's a great pack works great 
But I find the bigger the pack, the more compartments, the more I'm taking. <laughs> so, uh, this XRP pack, it does a really good job. And I had it now for several months using it. And I really got no complaints for the price. You know, I, there's other packs I like out there, 300 350 I saved $300 just using this right now. And it's pretty light right now. A lot lighter than what I was going in with. So let's put it that way. So that's it. That's just my new XO. Not the new path, but my new system right now. And right now, I'm sticking with this. So that's it. Bullets and broadheads. Again, multiple attachments. That's what, I, that's what I look for in the backpack. Is multiple ways to attach stuff. Molly systems to me is has to be in a pack so you can put your extra straps put this put this if you're not running a gun and yeah you don't need this like I have a, the, another pack the little bear that's perfect if you're going in light with it just the tree stand that's a really preset but if you're packing in I really don't think you can beat this pack for the price to be honest with you so that's it Richie bullets and for that this is what I'm using now a lot lighter than what I was going on with. And uh, just multiple attachment points. Take care. Okay, so I have a feeling somebody's going to ask me, can you run the sticks on the bottom? Like I said, yeah, you can't pull it off, you see. So here, I just want to show you the setup. If you want to run your sticks on the bottom, it works really good. I have the extra strap that I put on here. Like I said, with the mole system, I can put my jacket on the outside. And the sticks is really good right there. These tethers, one sticks. So uh, that's it. So, like I said, with this pack for the money, if you're on a budget, uh, again, it was fifty dollars free shipping. Check out the early part of this video because that's when I bought it. And uh, just a great pack with multiple systems you can do. So. Another way you can carry it in. I'm sure there's others. Bullets and broadheads.